Hey everyone, I just want to speak to you about the chaos that's going on with the coronavirus. Can I say this? As believers, you have nothing to fear. I want to read to you the words of Jesus. In John chapter 14, he says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Now, how can we fully trust him if we really don't know what he says, his covenant promise to us? So let's go to Psalm 91 and listen to what the psalmist says. The psalmist says this. Now, remember, this is the word of God, not the word of a man. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust in him. So there's the words of Jesus. Trust in God. Trust in me. Why do we trust in him? He's going to give you a good reason. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor of protection. So we have an armor, an armor of protection that protects us from the deadly disease. Do not be afraid of the terrors by night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. This is so good, isn't it? Though a thousand may fall at your side, and though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. This is God's promise to you. Now, what's our response? This is a perfect time to reach people with the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Their hearts are troubled. The unbelievers, they're so troubled. They're canceling things everywhere. This is where we get to shine. When it gets dark, the light gets brighter. And this is our opportunity to tell people about the glorious news that God is in love with them, that Jesus died for them. And not only did he forgive their sins, but he healed all their diseases. Hey, I'm so proud of you guys. Be a light, be a witness in this time of turmoil.